Hello everybody, my name is Ryu and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about Forza Horizon 4, uh, tuning and how to get a better speed output out of any vehicle, no matter what the top speed is. Um, I'm not sure how many people have actually covered this type of topic on this game. Uh, I haven't really flicked through a lot of YouTube videos. But from what I know, a lot of people, when they get their new cars, or any car in particular, they will download a custom tune for it instead of doing their own tunes. Because it's obviously it's a lot quicker, it's a lot more easier, and it's a lot more stress-free. Um, so basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to demonstrate how to get the perfect output on any car, no matter what the top speed is. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick flick through on what cars I've got. And then we'll pick a car out and then decide how we're going to upgrade it and what we're going to do to it. So, right, let me just have a quick flick through. I have a lot of cars, so I need it needs to be something that I know I'm going to use at some point. Something that isn't too fast, something that you can upgrade a lot. Maybe, hmm, not the Dodge. Maybe a Ford. Or Shelby. You need to look for a car that's specifically like good to upgrade it in terms of its speed and stuff, but nothing that's too crazy. Wouldn't mind doing one that has multiple body kits to it. I mean, it looks like I can't really find anything that piques my interest. Lotus at least wouldn't be a bad bad show. Uh, the RX 7s. You know what? We'll do the RX 7. It's got 7.2 speed base, so that shouldn't really be a bad car to upgrade. You know, not for a fact it has a good body kit as well. Um, also, just to bear in mind, weight on cars does really affect how the performance is in terms of like its launch and its its acceleration. Oh, so there is body kits for it. <laughs> that does not even look like an RX-7 anymore. Jesus. That's a nice body kit though. I like that one. Right, so we're just going to do a custom upgrade. So, actually before that, as far as for instance, if you find new tunes, as you can see, a lot of people do generally do a lot of tunes. A lot of good ones. You know, most of them are pretty pretty average at best. A lot of them, a lot of them are okay. But the real, real part is w once we do the upgrades is all this, looking at all these. Because a lot of people don't understand any of this and a lot of people tend to mess with this, but don't know what they're looking for. So I'm going to demonstrate the best way to do it. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just upgrade my car and look for stuff I want to do to it. So I'm going to put the body kit on here because that's a nice body kit. Alright, let's have a look what engine we've got, what options. So we've got 2.6 litre full rail racing. Or we can go for a 6.2 litre V8. With the V8, we could do a lot more to it in terms of customization. Um, we can do a lot more added stuff to it because if we just pick this, I'm pretty sure you only can upgrade on the restrictors. So we'll go for this. Uh, we'll turn it into an all wheel drive because we want the better launch. So straight away, we can already see we've got a lot of options. We want to go for something that's going to provide a lot more. I'm looking more at twin turbo if I'm honest. See, whatever you pick with these as well, with the aspiration, any one of these changes what parts you can put onto it for its engine. So then it gives you a lot of variety. Uh, make sure you always put the adjustable spoiler on. Adjustable spoiler, you'll need that. Uh, we need to reduce the weight. Let's go with let's go with that because that looks quite sporty. Unfortunately, we can't put a front bumper on it, so that's going to affect some of the speed ratio on the car. There we go for race tyres. Want to increase those, make them wider. Better grip. And weight reduction on these. Maybe go for those. So that's done. Head over to this. Upgrade the clutch transmission. So you definitely need to upgrade transmission because that also plays a part in maximizing your speed. Right, head over to handling brakes. Do all this stuff. See, all this is not really necessary, but I'm just doing this because I want to just fully upgrade the car anyway. So it's totally up to you what you want to do with this. 
uh, weight reduction on as well. I never put um, roll cage or anything in him because of the effects of weight, so that really does affect uh, the miles per hour and stuff like that. The heavier the car, the, the harder it is to um, make it faster, basically. The lighter the car, the quicker the, car, the quicker the car goes. So I'll start to put all this stuff on. I don't think my top speed is going to be very high, whereas my um, acceleration and launch is already at max, which is good. And by the look of it, this might actually make it a little bit better. At the minute, the torque is at 879 and power is 773. Uh, twin turbo, I want to put a race. Race twin turbo on it. Uh, put that on as well. All this stuff on. So this is affecting the way, but it's also increasing torque and power. Right. So that is basically so that's a hundred and nine thousand credits. It's making that an S two and nine five seven. So the car's already an S two, but don't forget we're just doing this just to maximise the power, so it doesn't really matter on the rating of the car. Now this is the interesting part. This is the part where you do the tuning. So I always I need mess with gearing and aero because they're the only two you really need. I don't really mess with any of the other stuff because I'm not really familiar with all these other things. But with gearing, as you can see in the bottom right corner, it says the top speed can potentially go up to 282 miles per hour. But it says in the left hand side that our top speed is 194.7. So as you can see at the top of the uh, forward gears, it says speed and acceleration above final drive. Basically, the more you push that to the right, the more the faster the car goes in acceleration, but the top speed is not very good. Now, if you pull this to the left, as you can see in the bottom right corner, what it's doing is you're stretching your gearbox. And as you stretch it and you get to the very tip of the mileage, what it'll do is you'll change your top speed. See, now that is 267.1 instead of the 197. And already you can see there's a massive difference. And the more you put it across, what you need to do is just keep playing with it and see how far you can actually push it and what the limit is. When you go over a certain point, what it will do is it will stop increasing top speed and start to decrease it. So at the minute with 267.2, and so far we can keep pushing this down, which is good. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that as it is actually, because I don't want to keep messing with that. Now on aero, I don't really, I don't know why there's an option for cornering, because this doesn't really affect your performance, if I'm honest. It does affect your top speed though, if you put it the speed down, it will make the car a lot faster. So as you see, just it was 267.2, it's now 268.9. And already we've just got the car from 197, and we've literally increased it by 70 in just one simple step like that. So literally all you need to do is mess with your gears, make sure you stretch them across, and mess with the air on. Uh, apart from that, there's not really a lot else. Um, we'll put a quick paint job on it, and then what we'll do is we'll take it over a quick test drive, just to see what I'll do is I'll just drive down the road quickly. And you'll just see the difference, even though there's not much of a difference. Right, let's go with the. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with the Fast and Furious paint job. There you go. Right, let's take this for a test drive. Uh, a lot of times on this game are a bit long. There we go. Right then, it's a nice paint job. It's really well done, that is. So we're going to just basically we're going to race from the top of the castle all the way down to the bottom here. So as you've seen the car's top speed was originally 197, it's now, it's now 268. So pull off when you stretch the gears is normally affected, it's normally a bit slower. But as you can see this is pretty quick, considering the top speed was supposed to be 192, we're already pushing that barrier. There you go. So yeah, already, already you can tell that's just made a massive difference. So I'm, I'm hoping this tutorial has helped you. If you have any comments, questions, or any other videos you would like to see around Forza in terms of like any tutorials, anything you can need help with, uh, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I will gladly answer any, any and all if I can. But yeah, all feedback is appreciated. So, yep. Yeah. Let's just head back to the festival.
Well guys, that's it from me. I hope this video has helped you. Like I say, if you have any more suggestions or any other tutorials you'd like to see, please comment below. Uh, all feedback is appreciated and all comments are also appreciated, so please like, comment and subscribe. But yeah, my name is Ryu and thanks for watching.